internal power supply. But we are still uh, topping up the uh, oxy liquid oxygen inside the propellant tanks of the first, uh, second and third stage. Coming up on a minute, we'll be into the final minute, final 60 seconds of this historic uh, first launch of Soyuz. Big crowd on hand, lots of press here, as you can imagine. Witnessing space history. Maybe we should uh, give a rundown on the of the ignition sequence, which you'll see, which is a little different than Ariane. Yes, this what sequence uh, starts approximately 17 seconds before liftoff, and the 20 engines will be ignited first at low thrust level, then intermediate level, and finally full level, enabling the propulsion uh, for the minute. The DDO is going to call out the one minute mark now, and we'll be into the final 60 seconds before liftoff. Stop, one minute. So we are within the last minute before liftoff. You can't hear, you can hear a pin drop here in Jupiter. People are so attentive. They're starting to go out here, the invited guests going out on the terraces on either side here. They're going to watch the launch from outside. Remember what Alex said, at minus uh, 15 seconds, the first controlled ignition at a weak pressure, minus 7 seconds, and a second one, an intermediate pressure, testing the engines about 50% monitoring them while they're still on the pad, and then at minus three seconds, the order is given for the third and final phase at full throttle. We'll let you Now watch. There comes the umbilical, right on time. We're ready to go. We'll let you watch the liftoff, and we'll be back with you after Soyuz has cleared the tower. Enjoy it, everybody. Top, début de séquence de l'image lanceur. Largage VKS, nous approuve. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop, décollage. Well, there you have it. A page of space. History has just been written, and you were present at its creation, as were we. Alex is almost in tears next to me. Yeah, you were, you were cheering. Soyuz on. and gorgeous. Beautiful uh, lighting up the, uh, the, up the morning the sun. The DDO is saying everything is fine on board. Soy is lifting off perfectly from the soil here in her new home in French Guiana, Guyana, beginning her mission number 1777. These pictures will go around the world. They're already on the Internet. You'll see them in the papers and TV tomorrow. Uh, 313 tons at liftoff, less than half of the mass of uh, Ariane 5. Alex, on the left, on the upper part of the screen, what are we looking at? Uh, the white curve, which shows the uh, flight prediction, which is entirely computed, and the white spot uh, on the curve shows the real-time position of the launcher. This position is regularly sent by the launcher telemetry system and received by the tracking stations and then sent to Kourou and uh, where it is transmitted to the computers here in Kourou and uh, you can see the curve and so the spot on it. So you can follow that <laughs> along with that. The DDO says everything is normal on board. On the lower left, the two bottom lines, A and V. On the lower left, then we have the altitude, uh, 30, 36, 37 kilometers now and the velocity, 1.6 kilometers per second. And the speed needed to inject the satellites is? will be at about uh, 7.6 kilometers per second. Okay. So uh, keep your eyes on the numbers, folks. The boosters are burning now, produced in Samara in Russia. The boosters are the first stage, and you can see they just have Separation been separated. The DDO booster. says it at uh, 118 seconds, two minutes roughly. That's coming right on time. We're into the uh, second phase of the flight. The second stage is, uh, is burning now. The next milestone coming up will be jettisoning of the fairing. Coming up in about a uh, minute, I would say. Yeah, we are now heading to, in fact, we are heading to Europe, uh, northeast, uh, normal. at 54 degrees inclination. And uh, everything is fine on board, and the, uh, all the parameters are, are following are the curve. The boosters uh, weighed 45 tons each at liftoff, and uh, working with liquid oxygen and kerosene.
So we are at about 100 kilometers uh, altitude, and then the fairing will be jettisoned. Fairing provides uh, acoustical and other protections for the payloads inside during liftoff, just like Ariane 5. It also provides the thermal protection of the launcher uh, with respect to the uh, molecular flux of the uh, at uh, high layers of uh, high density layers of the atmosphere, which we don't have above 100 kilometers, roughly. So yes, we we're almost in vacuum, and then the fairing uh, will be jettisoned. So we don't need it anymore. Weighs uh, weigh measures four meters in diameter roughly 11 meters in length what's it weigh about a ton i imagine about a ton yes so it's a uh, dead weight which we don't need anymore uh some words on the uh, flight safety uh we have a uh, safety flight safety uh, uh system which uh, will enables us to uh, verify that the uh, launcher is following its trajectory which you can follow on the curve there and uh, in case of any failure or problem on board, then we would uh, uh, trigger uh, destruction command so that the, uh, the uh, flight requirements are met and the launcher is, is not uh, able to provoke any casualties. Second stage burning now. Second stage uh, carrying 64 tons of liquid oxygen, 26 tons of kerosene. The propulsion system is a little different than Ariane. Alex will have a word on that uh, in a moment, second stage produced by DSSKB Progress, like the boosters, prepared in Samara, Samara in Russia. Coming up, about 10 more seconds left in the second stage burn. Normal. Everything normal on board. You can hear the DDO so saying. So we are flying over the Atlantic Ocean, and then uh, all the uh, different stages after separation will fall down into the uh, into the water, into the Atlantic. Into the Atlantic. Right. We also have uh, a naval uh, station. Uh, tracking station on the, uh, the boat. Étage. And there's the separation of the second and third stages. The DDO has called out one particularity of Soyuz, whereas with Ariane, we uh, separate the Marcage lower stage the before Plutôt. igniting the upper stage. Soyuz does exactly the opposite. The upper stage, third stage, is ignited two seconds before the separation of the lower stage. You can see how that works there. Uh, the upper part of the second stage, which is called the skirt, is used to channel the flux of this motor ignition above in the third stage down to the stage below where it rebounds which gives an added thrust upwards assisting separation and then the second stage skirt is then separated about 30 seconds after that.